I will now introduce our next speaker, Khaled Imam. Khaled is a specialist in international human rights law. He is also the executive director of Justice Call for Rights and Development. Khaled serves as organizing partner at the, U at the UN Major Group for Children and Youth and has been working alongside us to make this series a, a success. Over to you, Khaled. Thank you so much, uh, Lily, and uh, thank you for this opportunity. We, uh, we are really glad to be in this uh, program together with uh, BIC, and we think it's, uh, it's a great opportunity to discuss about how we can strengthen the participation of young people and, and the UN system and beyond. I will quickly share my screen if this is possible. Great, so uh, today I will be sharing with you some, uh, since this is our first session of the series, I will be sharing some information about uh, uh, the, the networks or like the platforms that I represent here, which is MSGCUI, plus some information about our views um, regarding youth participation. So uh, what does MGCY might, might if you uh, be aware about MGCY might not. So MGCY is a UN General Assembly mandated since 1992 as a space for children and youth to contribute and engage in certain intergovernmental and policy processes of the UN system. And uh, uh, some of our uh, area of work here is, uh, is policy and advocacy, capacity building, youth action, knowledge. So we engage with young people, uh, we engage young people uh, in certain UN processes through all the, the areas that I mentioned here. And, and this is for sure through several avenues like the ECOSOC Youth Forum and the HLPF. We just uh, finished the ECOSOC Youth Forum last, yesterday was the last day of the site events and was a huge event it was more than 15,000 young people participated from all around the world. And I, and I think uh, it's, um, we, will, we will publish a report about this soon, but I think this is also, uh, it's a, a chance for all of us to see the few of young people uh, after all the development that's happening to our world today, including the war in, in Ukraine. Uh, so, uh, and I will move quickly to use 2030. Uh, Jayasma right now, there's envoy just say that no, no sustainability without use. We cannot talk about sustainable development without including young people. And that's why uh, this agenda is very important than ever. I will talk about this in more details um, in a little bit, but let's now just briefly see what is the US 2030 is. So the US 2030 is the first UN-wide strategy and US guidance, which is uh, it aims to lead the UN system to be more accessible for young people and to strengthen the participation of young people in the UN system. And it's, it acts as an umbrella framework to guide the UN entire system to uh, step up and work for young people uh, uh, across the three pillars of the United Nations, so peace and security, human rights, and sustainable development. Uh, and we see that um, this use 2030 agenda, it's cross-cutting with everything as MGCY does, as MGCY also it acts as a bridge between young people as and UN system. And as I said before, uh, you and MGCY facilitating several avenues and process and capacity building program for young people to understand what is the UN system is, but also to contribute in a meaningful way to uh, the UN system uh, work. Uh, and here is an example from page six of the strategy. If you can look with me, you see like it's, there is amazing, amazing, amazing uh, 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 actions that this strategy calling for, such as ministering uh, and in, or ensuring uh, that there is young people, there is a focal point for an action for each UN country team and mission to support the system-wide country-level coordination on youth. And this is was, uh, there was a lot of work on, on this. And, and maybe if you get a chance to read the progress report, uh, the joint working group already did several task teams and uh, amazing work has been done in this point specifically. Also, there is youth engagement uh, platforms and, and considered putting in a place mechanisms such as uh, youth advisory board and with relevant UN entity to provide guidance and a channel uh, between young people and these several agencies 
Uh, and this is also, we have seen uh, some examples going on. And here's dialogue opportunities, establish regular online and offline engagement between young people and the UN senior managers. And I see that what we are doing right now, it's really fit with this, that having dialogue, not only with UN senior people, but having dialogue with um, between young people and international organization to discuss how we can make the UN system better and effective. Uh, uh, and this is uh, itself is, is a huge step. Uh, then there is for sure capacity building and, and, and more. And why is this, this is 2030 is important? Uh, again, uh, uh, Yasma just said about is, is it essential? It's not a choice to engage young people in the UN system. But also if we look to all the challenges that facing our world today, peace and security, conflict everywhere, disaster, etc. Young people are the one who working in the front. Young people are the one who connected to the communities. Young people uh, from Myanmar to Sudan, to Syria to Yemen, in, in, in a such diff, very, very difficult situation, trying to build peace, supporting communities, and um, strengthening human rights. So peace and security as a pillar of United Nations, it's, it will be impossible to be achieved without the participation of young people. That's why now we have the, the YPS agenda, which is a, one of our colleagues will, will be talking about today, the, the several UN security resolution regarding engaging um, or participation of young people in UN processes. It's, so it's become essential that young people need to be and in, 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 in designing and uh, reviewing and follow up on the UN, on all UN policies related to peace and security. Same like climate change, see young people everywhere around the world making great efforts, uh, making a, a, a awareness program with the community, protesting and advocacy, pushing stakeholders and policymakers to change their policies to be to, to, to protect the, the globe. So if we go for any of these pillars, issues that facing our world today, you will see that there's essential um, a role for young people to play. And it's impossible to counter all the challenges that we're facing our world today without the participation of young people. Um, and so, so it's become very, very clear why also this strategy is important today as a framework and umbrella for the UN entity agencies to work together first to make the UN more accessible and meaningful for young people and work with young people as well to make sure that they are participating and they are part of the decision making process of the UN system. Uh, MGCUI role in, in the US 2030. So MGCUI is playing a very, very important role in US 2030 since its establishment in 2018. And uh, a few examples of this, that the US 2030, the high level steering committee, uh, HLCS, is, uh, 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 it has several, like two uh, youth uh, platforms, which is MGCUI and ECMI. So MGCUI here serves as um, uh, not just a member of the high level steering committee, but also co facilitating for the high level uh, steering committee meetings. And more importantly, the US 2030 joint working group, which is the implementing body of this strategy, several MGCY members already doing a great job as co leads uh, on, on the different uh, joint working group uh, task teams. Um, I, I will stop here, but uh, again, I think it's a uh, th thanks for uh, VIC for uh, establishing this dialogue, which is, I, I'm sure, this, uh, as, uh, as, as Lee mentioned, with us will lead to uh, an outcome document, which perhaps will help us all to work together in a more collective way to make sure that young people, especially from the global south, are getting a space to participate and to, to, to uh, considering also that we are having this big discussion about our common agenda right now, we need to make sure that young people in the ground is there. Uh, as I said, uh, 2030 is amazing, but we need more university, we need more engagement for uh, youth at the grassroots level. I want to stop here and thank you so much. Everyone. Thank you.